ओम श्री साई राम उपनिषद वाहिनी चैप्टर फोर मंडा का उपनिषद दिस उपनिषद बिगन्स विथ एन इन्वोकेशन प्रेइंग दैट द आई मे सी ऑस्पिशियस थिंग्स दैट द ईयर मे हियर ऑस्पिशियस साउंड्स एंड दैट लाइफ मे बी स्पेंट इन कॉन्टेम्पलेशन ऑफ द लॉर्ड The teaching of this Upanishad is referred to as knowledge of Brahman, Brahma Vidya, either because it describes first the message of Hiranya Garbha, the casual Brahman, or because the message relates the glory of Brahman. This Upanishad speaks of knowledge of Brahman as the mystery that only those with shaven heads and those who go through a rite of having. fire on the shaven head can understand so it is called shaven head manduka this upanishad is honored as the crest of all since it expounds the very essence of knowledge of brahman brahma jnana it is assigned to the fourth veda the atarvana the transcendent and immanent aspects of supreme reality this knowledge has been handed down from teacher to people by word of mouth enriched and confirmed by experience when it deals with attributeless principle it is also called the knowledge of the transcendent para vidya when it deals with the attributeful the materialized principle it is called the knowledge of the immanent aparavidya not the transcendent aspect these two are found in the upanishad they were taught by saunaka to angiras that is what the text announces the vedas and the subsidiary texts vedangas deal with the knowledge of the immanent or materialized aspect of brahman the upanishads deal specifically with the knowledge of the transcendent brahman but the interesting thing is knowledge of the immanent materialized brahman leads to the knowledge of the transcendent brahman which is the goal the spider evolves out of itself the magnificent manifestation of the web so to this moving changing world is manifested from the casitive brahman the objective world is the product of the creator creation complex it is true factual and useful as long as one is unaware of the reality the utmost that one can gain by activity that is holy or sacred activity is heaven swarga which has a longer lease of life but nevertheless has an end so the seeker loses all earning for heaven and approaches an elderly teacher full of compassion who instructs the seeker in the discipline for realizing brahman brahman is both the material and the instrumental cause of the world all beings are brahman and no other they all emanate from one brahman just as sparks emanate from fire just as hair grows on the skin but is different from it so to begins beings originate from brahman brahman causes the sun moon stars and planets to revolve in space brahman grants the consequence of all acts of beings the individual jeevi and the lord ishvara the individual and the universal are two birds sitting on the same tree the human body individual acts and suffers the consequences of those acts the lord sits quietly as a witness of the other bird when the individual looks at the lord and realizes that it is but an image it escapes from grief and pain when the mind is drawn by earning to know the lord all other low desires diminish and disappear then knowledge of atma is attained the last mantra of this upanishad declares that its aim is to make people attain 
this that spiritual wisdom jnana munda means head and we can say that this upanishad is the head of all upanishads even the brahma sutra devotes two chapters to elaborate on the inner meaning of the mantras of this upanishad this upanishad has three sections with the two chapters in each in the first section knowledge of the materialized aspect of brahman apara vidya is dealt with in the second knowledge of the transcendental supreme para vidya and the means of mastering it in the third the nature of the reality and the and the release from bondage are defined activity karma that helps attain the brahman is described in the mantras that is why this upanishad is respected as very sacred as already indicated the spider spins out the web from itself without any extraneous agency it also takes in the web it has spun so to creation was affected without an agent and the universe emanated this nature prakriti is but a transformation of the basic brahman like pot from mud cloth from cotton jewels from gold so brahman is called brahmaterial upadana cause of nature it is also the instrumental cause nimitta karana for nature can be the result only of a highest intelligence an intelligence that is all comprehensive sarva jna perform individual duties as well as public service activities heaven is the highest attainable stage through activity karma of such rites karmas the worship of fire called agni hotra is the chief the performance of such rites contribute to the cleansing of the mind such cleansing is a necessary preliminary to knowledge of the transcendent para vidya the flames that rise high from the sacrificial altar of fire appear to be performers as if they are hailing them on to realize the reality are brahman one who does the right with full awareness of the significance of the mantra is able to reach the solar splendor through the offerings made they take the performer to the region of indra the lord of the gods the vedas recommend two types of obligatory activities karmas individually auspicious and charitably auspicious ista and purta the right of agni hotra the adherence to truth asceticism tapas study of the vedas service offered to guests in one's home these are individually auspicious construction of temples carnivanseries rest houses tanks planting of avenue trees such acts are charitable these give consequences that are beneficial but all such cause effect chains are transient they are fundamentally defective om is the arrow and brahman the target the entire creation is bound up with the name and form and is thus unreal it can be described in words so it is limited and circumscribed by the intellect and the mind only the supreme person param purusha is eternal real and pure he is the prompter of activity and the dispenser of consequence but he is behind the eyes behind the intellect like the spokes of a wheel that radiate from the hub that lead from all directions to the center all creation radiates from him the mind is the instrument to reach the central hub and know that all spokes radiate from it brahman is the target to be reached by the arrow mind have your mind fixed on the target and using the upanishadic teaching as the bow shoot straight and hard to hit the brahman and master om pranava is the arrow brahman is the target the brahman illumines 
the individual soul jeevi by getting reflected in the inner consciousness antakkarana one has only to turn that conscious away from the objective world contact with which contaminates the mind now train the inner consciousness to meditate on the om with single pointed attention meditate on the atma as unaffected by the individual so it is in one and with one and activating one meditate on him in the heart from which countless subtle nerves nadis radiate in all directions if this process is followed one can attain spiritual wisdom jnana brahman is behind rituals and asceticism the universe is an instrument to reveal the majesty of law god the inner firmament is the heart of man is also equally a revelation of his glory he is the breath of one's breath since he has no specific form he cannot be indicated by words nor can his mystery be penetrated by the other senses he is behind the reach of asceticism behind the bounds of vedic rituals he can be known only by an intellect that has been cleansed of all trace of attachment and hatred of egoism egotism and the sense of possession only spiritual wisdom jnana can grant self realization meditation can confer concentration of the faculties through that concentration spiritual wisdom can be won even while in the body the brahman activates the body through the five vital airs pranas it condenses condenses to reveal itself in that same body as soon as the inner consciousness attains the requisite purity for the atma is immanent in the inner and outer senses just as heat is in fuel and butter is in milk now the individualized consciousness is like damp fuel soaked in the foilness of sensory desires and disappointments when the pool is when the pool in the heart becomes clear of the slimy overgrowth the atma shines in its pristine splendor one who acquires knowledge of this atman is to be rewarded for that one is liberated one has become brahman that which one strove to know and be jai sai ram